Bada bing, bada boom. We're back. <laughs> oh, there's the bug. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. On the map, it's right there. It's. In I the told you, and I was like, if they go back here to get a bug, box. it just shows. It just goes to show how many times I played this game. Yeah. Damn it. Don't, don't fly up there. It's really annoying. It's okay. It's okay. He's deaded. But I, yeah, I, um, going back to like last episode, uh -huh. it really sucks that Nintendo was like this doesn't acknowledge a lot of their IPs. Yeah, it'd be like that. That's the, I think that's the reason why people have so much Wait. attachment to Smash Brothers I'm because scared. Smash Brothers gives it a lot of love. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was scared that it wasn't gonna give it to me, oh, so I didn't, I didn't be, work right away. That would be so annoying, I'd be yeah. so angry. I mean, Kyle, we haven't gotten a new F-Zero game in how long? Yeah, but see, the th like, there are some things where I understand from a business perspective, like, why they wouldn't, like, why would you make an F-Zero game when Mario Kart sells so fucking well? Mario, Mario Kart, Kart 8 has been fucking It's the best on out. Switch game. It's the best selling it's, Wii U it came game. Out for the Wii U. <laughs> it's a, it's a re release, the Switch, it's a re -release well. game, yeah. <laughs> it sold just as well, and it's an old game. <laughs> oh, so going back to another thing, how how um Daily starting to get into like games now, like cause because I'm around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I wanted Mario Kart 9 once again, I'm like first time. <laughs> first time being disappointed. First time being disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're new to this, aren't you? Yeah. You have no idea how many times I was you know, disappointed. It's, it's funny because um, Micah's had the same kind of reaction because they didn't say anything about, about uh, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, it happens. I, I was telling her that sometimes they do that if they don't have enough news, really. Because that's just the thing. If there's not enough news to talk about, they don't want to like just talk about it for no reason. Well, that also goes for... um. This isn't like my favorite, this is not one of my favorite game series, even though we did play this together. Like, I have like a very mixed opinion about it, even though you might think that I like it a lot. What? I was wondering why Life is Strange was never on the Switch. I was like, this the Switch can run this game. Yeah. And the reason why they didn't announce it for Switch was because they waited for E3. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm like, okay, that, that makes sense. All right, cool. Yeah. It's not one of my favorite game series, but it's, it's cool to have as an option for the Switch. I thought you liked it a lot. I like that it's a, I like the, the time travel mechanic. Mm -hmm. I just oh people are gonna I don't know people probably hate me. I no. I think Chloe's really fucking annoying. As I've nah, gotten as I've gotten older, dude, I'm like oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I remember like when I first like when you, when you first showed me Life is Strange, I was thinking like Man, this is okay and all, but it could be I better. Yeah. For me, it's like it's a very it's a very all right told story. It's like it's it's not like it's not a ten out of ten. It's just not. Uh. Off the cliff. And there's this, I don't know, there's just a, like, I've been watching a lot of video analysis on the game recently. Yeah. And, like, a lot of people come to the conclusion, the problem is, they, they're just forced, they want you to like this character when she's just not that likable. Yeah. Max is okay. Max is just kind of bland. Mm-hmm. But, you know, she's a blank slate of a character. She's supposed to be like that. Yeah. But, like, another character that should have gotten a lot of attention was Kate. Kate should have gotten a lot of attention and didn't. Warren should have gotten a lot of attention but didn't. Like... Yeah. But you know, like I said, that's just me. I yeah. did like it, yeah, when I showed it to you, like, yeah, like, I liked it, because, you know, I like a told story, I like the time travel mechanic as opposed to you just choose an option and that's it. I right. like that there was, like, you can go back and see what you want to change about that. Right. But, you know, aside from that, I mean, like, come on, it's it's edgy teen crap, like... Yeah. <laughs> it's essentially what it is. I went the wrong way. <laughs> It's yeah. kind of probably why like I wasn't like a big Violet fan in Walking Dead. Uh oh, <laughs> I thought yeah. she was okay. She was an okay character. She was better than fucking Gabe <laughs> from yeah. season three. Oh man, I just thought Lewis. I just thought Lewis was better. <laughs> Once again, that's just me. Yeah, I mean, and like I like, it, it just it just goes to show like this is a gay character. You're in a gay relationship. You'll like this, right? No, I'll like the character if they're a likable character. Yeah, and that's what it is. Yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm like, no. How many, why, why does, why does every lesbian character have to be an edgy, annoying, like, teen? Why can't they just be normal? That sounds mm. so, that sounds so fucking terrible. <laughs> That's not what I mean. That's not I what know, I mean. I, know, I, know what I mean, mean, it's like, why do you have to be angsty and angry all the time? Like, we've had that, that character trope a lot. Yeah. I like that Lewis was, like, a funny dude and Clementine was kind of serious. I love that combo, by the way. Mm hmm that's why I like Beast Boy and Raven. I <laughs> yeah. love Beast Boy and Raven together. Yeah. It's Most like, people do. <laughs> like, Raven, why do you like him? 
He's funny. So that yeah. reminds you of uh, Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he makes me laugh. <laughs> like I love that. I I don't know. It's one of my favorite like archetypes when it comes to, like couples and media. Yeah. I like the serious girl and like the funny guy. Mm. But enough ranting about story type games. <laughs> yeah. Playing Zelda. <laughs> I mean, you know. For, I know. For me, like story in games, like will always be like the. Like I say, like maybe like like the third or second most important thing, like it's it's not like a bad thing to have, of course. Of course it's, not. It's always like nice. But it to is have, like, still a, a video a game story, but that you're the, playing. Yeah, the main reason why I'm playing a video game is is for the game. The, 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 like that's why I'm playing. It. Well, that's why people like if it's integrated properly. Yeah. Like Uncharted. Yeah, it's yeah. It's good gameplay and has a good story. Exactly. That's 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 what's really important. And then you got games like Breath of the Wild, where the story's very, very minimum. Yeah. But the gameplay's very, very good, because you're supposed to explore the world. Yeah. The thing about games like Breath of the Wild, and what makes their story unique, is that you're kind of, like, playing through the story. It's not told to you in a, re in a very specific way. It's not in your face at all. Yeah. Oh, you want to get the entire story? Well, I mean, there are places you can go to find it. Yeah. Do you have to do it? No, not at all. You, don't yeah. ha you do not have to get every single flashback. Yeah, but you can if you want like the the entire picture. You want to just go straight for the final <clears throat> boss? You are more than welcome to do that. Still mm -hmm. can't believe that's a thing. Yeah, I thought that was crazy when they first said that. Yeah, they were like, "Yeah, but you're not gonna be able to beat it." Nintendo, do you know your audience? Yeah. <laughs> Some Cue people begin rain. off with a ladle. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you know your audience? Cue the rain. What is that? Who knows? You know what this is, Jason? What is it? The last time we're forced to be a wolf like this. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sad. <laughs> <laughs> How upsetting. <laughs> Whoa! It's In a lightning bolt. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's, it's the angry Nimbus Cloud from One Piece. <laughs> Thank God. This thing's ugly, by the way. It is what really ugly. Fuck? How is it even flying those tiny wings? See, those are things you don't think about. You just, like, let it happen. Yeah. Yum. Ugh, that's gross. She's <laughs> biting. <laughs> Absolutely, it's gross. It's a very, like, bare bones, like, boss fight. It's just very yeah. standard. Not, not too hard. This is more so, like, just, like, hey, good job, you did it. Hyrule's free after this. From, yeah. from the Twilight. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Just a tennis group. This picture I took of you. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> That's a future on the joke, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. <laughs> but, um, when I. Oh, yeah. So, when I was playing Wind Waker, I beat, um, the Wind Temple. Uh huh. Yeah, because, like, I. I came on. I, I, like, there's a game I could just jump into and just start playing it, as long as I figure out where I am. Yeah. I had to go back to Forsaken Fortress and do oh, that again. Yeah. And then I had to find. The Wind Temple, and then I beat that very easily. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how much like trouble I had with that when I was younger. Yeah. And I was like, this really isn't that difficult. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could also be because I know like the back of my hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no. I always love that. Yeah. Seeing him like jump off the water and stuff, like, Whoa, it's just so damn. cool. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it looks weird. Yeah. It's gross. With weird nipples. <laughs> And look, you have the same tiny tear as everyone else. I know, right? Doesn't you, matter how big you are. Yeah. <laughs> See, this game was 2006, and it was symbolic as hell. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be cool if, like, I think they did that. Did they do that in Twilight Princess HD? Where like it was more than like just one. It was like a like couple, three. I think. I think that would make sense. Like, there's like three and one. It's just huge. But yeah, I, don't I don't remember. remember. I don't remember either. But now that you're thinking about it, you're bringing back memories that probably aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The last few shadow, and that's the end of the game. Yep. He he he. Oh, this was fun. All right, bye everybody. Good game. <laughs> <laughs>what love that <laughs> sorry about oh that. you're no shield <laughs> oh yeah i forgot i didn't have a shield i don't need it hello long snake man snake what is it a snake or is it like an eel he's like an eel i mean eels snakes I mean, what, what's is this the where difference? like the, is this where the creepy scenes are it is right not here it's after the wait 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 
It is a creepy scene. This right? is the scene. Yes. Whereas this like the it. scenes that are very unsettling for yep. a, some weird yeah, reason. Yeah, this is this is it. Here you go. <laughs> I remember seeing. I was like, "What the hell?" Do you know? Is going do you know on? what it means? I I can explain it. Like like why he was seeing like like everything that that was going on. Like yeah, uh, I know why why what like what's happening is happening. Why though? I I I really didn't understand. Okay, I'll I'll explain it as as the cutscene is going like more into it. Okay, but basically, um, it's. He's basically telling telling Link the story of how the how that um the, the few shadow they came into existence and what happened to the people of the Twilight Realm like why they're in the Twilight Realm is basically what he's explaining. So right here, right, right here, he's explaining the beginning. This is Link. This is Link seeing the creation of Hyrule. So oh, that's, that's I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah music has got like of course, but this is literally him explaining. You no, know, the three goddesses yeah. giving or, or giving, you know, what the fuck. <laughs> I saw it too. Yeah, giving life to the world looks weird because you can see the bottom of it. What's going on? What the fuck? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to be. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, this is like now it's different. You see, like this is not supposed to be Link. It's supposed to be like the people of Hyrule. So basically, Link and represent. Ilya represent the people of Hyrule right now. So basically, they were saying like they had the Triforce, everything was at peace, but people started to fight for the sake of Rome. That's why they're saying like, a great battle ensued. Ah. So betrayal happened. People started to fight each other, killing each other to try to get to the sake of Rome. Eventually, someone did, and the, but and but then when those people did go to go to the the Shadow Realm, the, the Shadow Realm. Oh my the, God, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Realm, <laughs> yeah. Once those people like started going towards the sacred Realm, right? Mm -hmm. Again, this represents just the people of Hyrule going towards the, the sacred Realm. They were eventually, like, they actually got inside, right? But then the gods, um, basically stopped them. So right here, just like the people that got there first, basically, are, are who were the interlopers. They like, killed that magic, building powerful sorcery. They tried to establish the man over the sacred realm. Like they got there first, they had powerful sorcery. They were controlling it. They were in a sacred realm. They were just, they were basically just running shit. But then the gods intervene and send them into the twilight realm. Ah. And that's that's who the people of the that's how the that's who the Twilight are, the Dark Insular Wars are the Twilight. That's they're they're the, they're the guys that were the first of the Twilight. So see, you come the light spirits to put them in their place basically, and send them and their magic into a different dimension. That's basically what this is explaining. Wow, Minna, your people are assholes. They're, yeah, her <laughs> ancestors are assholes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we see the way the great magic those individuals had mastered. Yep. They seal their magic and then banished. That's why they just disappear. Just gone. They, they got sent to a different dimension, basically. <laughs> the deeper... Well, every Zelda game has like a deeper story yeah. underneath it. Yeah. And basically, he's warning Link that this the power that he's, that he's gaining is that same power that, that they used. And it's it's not good. It's a it's not a... Uh, you know... A righteous thing to use, I guess you could say. But you know, it's not even really for him. It's it's Minna's anyway. So this whole thing right here, yeah, this it's like is just really creepy. This is just I feel like meant to be creepy. The idea of like him losing everything that he loves, everything that, that he knows, he like fall to ruin. Um, <laughs> I like how her feet were just stuck. <laughs> yeah, her feet stopped there. <laughs> yeah. Link's like that blows. Yeah. <laughs> Link getting that face like near the end where he's like kind of like smiling, like I'm not I forget what that was about exactly, but I think it's just more so the idea of like that dark power like possibly corrupting him and him and, like I mean, him that, like I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, him like the, the the spirits like trying to warn him to not get corrupted basically. I uh, hope I made, hope I made sense. I was like, I mean, just... like I, I mean, like I know Zelda, so like I was able to follow, no problem. Yeah, if you don't, <laughs> yeah, if you don't know anything about Zelda, that might have been hard to follow. If it, if it was, I'm sorry. But can I just say real quick? I always thought that that over there would lead to something. <laughs> that was like a door, doesn't it? Well, there's a thing you could latch onto. No, no, no. Right underneath the latch thing. I see. I do see what you're talking about. Yeah, I think you could walk around there. You can just, I didn't even know. I, I never have. You can like go over there. Yeah, well, there's shot. places you could use your swing shot, swing yeah. shot, or claw shots. Claw shot. I already have a swing shot, sir. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bart Simpson. Yeah. You know what other Zelda game is really good? What? Link Between Worlds is a very Zelda Zelda game. Yeah. I would love if that got re-released, but yeah. it's probably not going to. 
unfortunately. Oops. It's kind of surprising that there's not that many Zelda games on the Switch. Yeah, I mean, there's what? There's the, um, the remake for Link's Awakening, Breath of the Wild, Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors. Do you count like the first Zelda's on Virtual Con? Well, not the Virtual Console, just the catalog of games you could play. I mean, yeah, I would count those. Like, there's Link to the Past, you can play the original Zelda 1 and 2, I think, right? Oh, it's surprisingly, a lot of their heavy hitters aren't there. Yeah, I'm just... More people are, are just... I mean, in general, people are saying, like, where the hell are we... When the hell are we gonna get, um... What's it called? Um, Ocarina, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Like, oh, like, all the other console games. Well, it's also funny because, like... You know, Breath of the Wild became the best-selling Zelda game because a lot of people got a Switch. It was one of the first games to come out. Yep. And people tried out a lot of people tried out Zelda for the first time. Mm -hmm. So you think that like they give that same audience a chance to experience their older titles? Yeah, exactly. And, like they just haven't taken advantage of it. Yeah, they just haven't done it yet. But like we've always said, we love Nintendo, but they make really, really weird business decisions. The thing is, I mean, they are. I feel like they are and they aren't at the same time because let's put it this way, right? Them releasing Skyward Sword in a lot of ways is very smart because, like, like we were just saying earlier, it's one of the older Zelda games. Um, it's ten years old now. It's the beginning of the story. It's also one of the few that never ever got a re-release. Yeah. Sorry, and the eShop does not count. No. <laughs> it coming out for Wii U on eShop but, does not count. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Thanks for reminding me, though. Let's go. So right now, what we need to do is. Go to Castle Town to try to talk to Ilya. She's gonna be like, "This Zora boy is sick. We need to help him." And I'm like, "All right, I got you." We'll, and then we'll you're take... like, "Do you know who I am?" And she's like, "Nope." Uh, she's like, uh, "No." I don't it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're about to uh, uh, let's call again. Oh, you can't warp because you're nope, not a wolf. I'm not a wolf. Can't oh. warp. <laughs> but it's okay. There's horse grass right there. So we just hop on Epona and we'll be out. Wait, what was what was her name? What was uh, what did we name it again? What's oh, my name again? Name, your name is Impetu. <laughs> oh yeah, my name is Impetu. I and think the, her name is Hiru. Hiru. That's how you know it's been a while. Yeah. She's looking, so pretty. Looking dashing as always. All right, off to the castle. <laughs> Ran into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I still imagine him like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Straight into the wall. Oh, I uh, might as well get the hidden skill too. It's on the way. Oh yeah, because it's there. Oh wait, shit. Wrong. What skill is it again? If it's the helm splitter. No, it's the back slice. Okay. We're fine. Man, I don't remember all that shit. Because I you remember, played this game like I, 40 I know, times. Yeah, I know the order of the skills too. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> See, I can't do that. <laughs> you just hold R and press A. I've been... Shut up. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> nice shield you're holding. Link. He's like, dude, he's just like, wanna shake hands? <laughs> Come Link's on, boy, shake. <laughs> Link's, getting, Link's getting ready for an epic dance battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I Every time I see the hero shit, I just remember how fucking... Much I loved Ocarina Time Link. Well, it also shows how fucked up his story became. Yeah. Dude, that reminds me, I need to show you later. There's a really good animation on YouTube by a guy named Major Link. You might have seen him before. He does really cool CG stuff, and he, uh -huh. he went through like a lot of... He's making like a series right now about what happened to Ocarina of Time Link after Major's Mask. It's really good. I might have actually seen that. It's I didn't good. watch it, I didn't watch it, but I saw it like, in my suggestions. I like it a lot. You know, it's a fan-made thing. Is he the one who made the, like You can the, tell there's a lot of love in it. Is he the one who made like a one where it's like the downfall timeline where they actually lose? I don't know if he made that. I didn't look at all his stuff. Just I sent I sent you that before. I don't. It yeah. was a while ago. I just don't remember. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you. It's really cool. And if you're a Zola fan, you need to just watch that. It's really cool. Back slice. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hmm. You carry yourself well, but do not forget the proper timing for swinging your sword while you jump. Thank you. The third in the skill of the backslice has been passed on. <laughs> <laughs> it looks funny without the shield. I know. <laughs> I said this about the Resident Evil characters, and this goes for like Link and Zelda and like the majority of the main cast as well. Yo, the Zelda cast has no. <laughs> 
the Zelda cast has no right to be as attractive as they are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said that about the Resident Evil characters too. I'm like, these characters have no right to be as attractive as they are. Yeah. Lance, like, good looking dude. He is. <laughs> I mean, look at that chin. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Impetu. Well, the thing too is like when it comes to like Zelda, they don't make her overly glamorous, but she's very pretty. <laughs> yeah. Even Ganondorf. <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> Look, I've said that before. If, uh, like I don't know. That. It's <laughs> what is that cause? Like I'm not sure if I want this. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like when you see f <laughs> fucking Frankie from One Piece. Oh yeah. I'm not sure if I want this. Frankie. <laughs> what was I about to? I was about to say something earlier and I forgot what it was. I don't remember. I love this castle song, by the way. Really? I like it too a lot, actually. The music, the atmosphere, it feels like I actually populated it. I wish you could like talk to more people, but... Except for that one place until it changes. Oh, Just, yeah. uh, you cannot come in here until your shoes are properly oh, yeah. polished. Yeah. Um, okay? <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Oops. When I first saw that, I was like, do I need to put like, the iron boots on? Do you, you want my shiny <laughs> shoes? <laughs> He's like, no, get the fuck out, dude. <laughs> I was so angry. I'm like, I'm like, yo, screw this guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking this dude. I like this guy's glasses. They're his eyes. Oh, yo, look at them bifocals. <laughs> Jesus. His two teeth. <laughs> you got them big glasses and you still can't see where you're going. <laughs> He's like, give me a hug. And then she's like, do I know you? Yeah. Hi, stranger. It's kind of funny. He's like, hey, she's like, okay. Yeah. Cat. I'm the cat and I see everything. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I'm like, let's just pick him up and throw him into a body of water. <laughs> That's terrible. Mm hmm. <laughs> He's a fish, right? Let's yeah, put him in some water. <laughs> we could flush him down the toilet. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. That's a great idea. Alright, I'll prepare the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Do we like some candles? Oh shit. Hold up. I gotta say, this is real quick. Yeah. I, I I don't know if you see my, my stream lately, but whenever I get a sub, this is this is what this is the gift that plays with the same with the same yell. Really? Yeah, because we're the Hylian Knights. That is so you. <laughs> ready? Ready? Re ready? Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my best friend Angel. <laughs> He's I love those guys. He will be one of my groomsmen. They get so hyped. <laughs> they got so hyped though. And then they got scared. I love when she <laughs> I love when she plays the real shit. She's like, yeah, you guys are ready for that? And they're like, no. <laughs> I'm leaving. Don't ever show your faces here again. That's right. I um, like her a lot. Yeah, I think she's great. Tom was awesome. She's like probably like one of the best like side characters in Well, Zelda. I also like because yeah. like <laughs> she, she kinda like hits on hit she hits on you. Yeah. And she doesn't, she's not subtle. She's like, come on, handsome. It's like yeah. damn. Wings at you, bulls kisses at you, has her her chest all barren. Big mom, big mommy milk jugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom was cool. She, I mean, she's, she also strikes me as a character that can see through people's bullshit. Yeah. It's like, come on, you know her, don't you? But you don't want to say anything. Mm hmm. Bless her heart. She found this poor boy collapsed on the road. Yeah, that sounds like my friend, all right. Don't worry, I got y'all. I'm a hero. Cat. Cat. <laughs> All right, time for the escort mission. That's what I was trying. To, that's what I was trying to say oh, earlier. Now? Yeah, this escort mission. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> no, nah, this is this escort mission is really not that bad. I never had any problems with it the first time I played. Maybe it's just because I have so much gamer skill. Or maybe because you played this game 80 times. <laughs> Could be that too. Look at this weird transition though. 
This transition like like threw me, threw me through a loop when I first. I was like, God damn, what the hell happened? Are we that fast? Look, uh huh. Oh, and then like they're uh -huh. all over there. I remember. Camera pans, and we're here. All right. <laughs> they, they teleported. On this episode of Boundary Break, we'll show you how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I get the idea of like what they were doing, but that was definitely like a. Uh, no, no, I mean like yeah, it's just it's just really funny. Yeah, in pet too. I'll never forget you ever again. I swear, wow, just, I'll never forget just, you. <laughs> wow, just just rub salt on the wound, why don't you? Oh my god. Seriously. That must suck though. Can you imagine like Like finding your friend after like, a while? Like one of your best friends like goes missing, you, you find you finally find them and they don't even know who the fuck you are. Or they look at you like, thanks, I'll never forget you. It's like Yeah, they I say, never forgot they, you. They say like I'll never forget you. And they're like, yep, I'll never forget you. Either. Damn. Dang. She thick. Dang. She is though. Dang. <laughs> He's like, oh hell yeah. <laughs> so next time we'll do escort mission. Yeah, we'll do the extra mission next time. This sounds <laughs> good. It's a lot to take in. You ready to roll next time? On escort mission. <laughs>